Oh, that was your foot. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. I thought you had your lace crossed for some reason. The topic of today's video is actually going to be very useful for us right now because we are on a road trip. I would like to consider Samantha and I veterans of road tripping at this point because we've driven the Eastern Seaboard four or five times from start to finish, all the way up Nova Scotia to the very southiest south tip of Key West. And we road tripped out west before multiple times. Unfortunately, no plan goes perfectly. So we're gonna tell you what we found to be very useful, tips and things to have with you when road tripping. Okay, let's start this off with an important one that I found out today. How many bathroom trips did we make today alone? Today, uh, seven? Was it that many? This tip is to hydrate the day before your road trip. And so then you don't have to worry as much about staying hydrated on the drive the following day. The second tip kind of goes hand in hand with the having to urinate. This is another preventative method. I don't suggest drinking energy drinks on the ride, even if you're very tired. I learned this the hard way. I shot a TV show for four years and would be out in boats all day long. And it's difficult to go to the bathroom on a boat. I learned that you should either take uh, caffeine supplements or use five hour energies, which really pack a punch. There's a lot of caffeine in a small package. We've been using generic brand uh, stay away caffeine pills is 200 milligrams each. You really don't want to get drowsy on the road. I have had two friends who have both totaled their cars by accidentally falling asleep at the wheel. A good tip actually from one of my friends who crashed their car. When you're that tired, you start to make excuses to close your eyes. You think, oh, it's just going to be for a second. And, and that's when you're screwed. You can find these pretty much at any pharmacy. And plus by avoiding energy drinks, you also avoid the crash of having a sugar high and then a sugar low. Speaking of sugar lows, when your blood sugar gets low, that's not fun. Uh, you lose focus, you get jittery. So we also recommend packing an assortment of high protein snacks and water. It's Cause you still do have to stay hydrated even though you prehydrated like a good person. Like a good person, did I say that? Road tripping is always fun with another person or people because, well, company, if they're a good company, that's a plus. But also having multiple people with you, you're able to share the drive and accomplish the whole entire drive much quicker in segments, you just take shifts. And that makes it really important to pack something that's gonna make it comfortable to sleep. Sam and I really like using a yeah. uh, body pillow because you can pillow. kind of contort it to whatever position you're lying down in. If your chair is back, or you're going out the window here. We also have a nice plush blanket. Or you could be a total nerd and use one of these. It looks like you just injured your neck in some sort of accident. Oh my God, circulation. It kind of keeps your head. Sometimes it's just worth looking like a dork. Another thing, if you can find them, is get those eye masks, those eye covers, you know, the ones you see in movies and stuff. <laughs> that helps quite a bit. I use that on the drive down. This next bullet point on the list is probably the most important thing on the list. Going on long road trips, you're putting your car in a lot of strain. The engine is going for hours and hours and hours. Before you go on a road trip, service your car. Make sure it has fresh oil in it. Make sure all the fluids are topped off, your windshield wiper fluid. Make sure all your exterior lights are working. So you wanna treat your car fairly. That is your ship in the middle of a sea is your car. But if something does happen, it's always good to be prepared. If your battery dies, Make sure you have jumping cables. We also have one of the Quipalls. It's like a little portable jumper pack. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's a ton of different brands, but that has saved my butt so many times. If you accidentally leave the light on at night or your battery's just going bad, that might be worth looking into as well. This is how horror movies start. <laughs> the battery just died in the car. I don't know if it's a bad battery. It probably is. I'm gonna go try and start it. It's not gonna work, I'm telling you that. Make sure your tires are inflated with the proper pressure. This is gonna make sure you have good handling on the highway and it's gonna optimize your fuel economy. I showed this in a different video. This thing is sweet. It is my DeWalt tire compressor uh, and air mattress pump. It also has a flashlight on here. It uh, also sings you lullabies when you wanna go to sleep. 
and prepares you iced mocha lattes. It's very durable and it takes the 20 volt DeWalt batteries. While we're on the topic of emergency essentials, it's always good to have a spare jacket, even if it's relatively warm out, because you never know, you might break down the side of the road. Definitely have a spare jacket. Always have a flashlight because you never know when you're gonna need that. Sam and I have actually ended up sleeping at rest stops a couple times, um, and you always wanna feel safe. You're pretty safe in your car, but you never know. Sam has some pepper spray. I have, you know, a little knife here. Always a last resort. <laughs> Better to feel safe than sorry, right, Sam? Yes. And another thing that's often overlooked, but is also very handy and important to have, especially in emergency situations, is butt tissues. <laughs> you guys, stop laughing. Shit happens. <laughs> You're laughing, I'm not. I have pooped on the side of the road. It's not fun, I don't, I don't plan on doing that. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you wanna go on a road trip? I wanna poop on the side of the road. If you can, try and find the biodegradable uh, toilet paper. You can actually pick it up on like any RV store, pretty much. Here's a couple things that aren't necessarily essentials, but are really nice to have, and Sam and I have uh, found that they really come in handy. So if you're working on the road, we recommend getting uh, some sort of inverter uh, that can plug into the outlet in your car, or um, it actually has an adapter if you need to plug it onto battery terminals. Um, this one's pretty cool because it has two household outlets here and a USB port. Sam's actually worked from this before when we were down in South Carolina and she plugged her computer into this and was editing. Definitely recommend that. Another thing that's often overlooked but very important is getting a phone holder. If you're using the GPS on your phone, you don't wanna be looking down at your phone or having your phone fly around if you're taking turns. And while we're talking about GPSing, I highly recommend the Waze app. I use this pretty much all the time if I'm commuting even. This is gonna give you much more accurate real-time um, traffic updates compared to Apple Maps. Waze is kind of a, a community of people, um, so they can actually leave updates on the road that you're traveling. Or if there's police kind of hidden in a bush, the person in front of you can mark that down so you can have time to slow down and make sure you don't get in trouble with the law. Super handy, that saved my butt so many times. Yeah, download ways, it'll help keep you out of trouble, but another way to keep you out of trouble is by knowing the local laws of the road. Again, we had to learn this the hard way when we were road tripping down to Florida, and our friend Vinny got a reckless driving ticket in Virginia, the state, you know, of love, apparently, where just going 10 miles an hour over the speed limit was reckless driving. Another good thing to have as a contingency in case your GPS stops working, you don't have service, is one of these good old old school physical maps. Yes, they're bulky, but very good to have. Um, we actually didn't know that there wasn't gonna be any service in Canada when we went, and we had to find our way with one of these old school maps. Thank goodness we had one of these, because we would have been toast without it. Good skills to have. Another thing that's often overlooked is your apparel. And I don't mean just for styling. What you're wearing can make a huge difference on how much you enjoy the drive. I love driving in these. These are my driving shoes. They have a curved heel, so it's easier to do gas and brake. And if you're driving stick, you can do clutch. I'm wearing just a nice baggy, comfortable t-shirt. Super nice, kind of stretchy, comfortable, comfortable pants. And uh, I left my sunglasses in the car, but have a pair of polarized sunglasses because you never know when the sun is gonna be glaring directly in your eyes. And last but not least, here is the honorable mention. To go along with your biodegradable toilet paper, baffle tissue. You. you Check this out, guys, check this out. This is a toilet seat that clamps on your tire. The toilet seat goes onto a tire if you really need to boop on the side of the road. Dig a hole, do your thing, bury the thing, burn the thing. Maybe we'll have to get one of those just to do a video review of it. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned for my video review of that in, in depth. <laughs> Samantha, do you have anything to add? No, because I helped you with that. You helped me with that, you're right. All righty. So, thank you for tuning in, and a lot of people think you shouldn't be traveling during the pandemic. Um, and in most cases, that's true. But I think that road tripping is kind of a loophole if you can do it safely. Take all the mandated precautions, um, follow protocol, but your mental health is a lot more important than the government thinks. So if you're feeling cooped up, just hop in your car, Go for a drive. It uh, it really helps. What's the point of having physical health if you don't have mental health?
Stay safe out there and enjoy some good road tripping. Take care now. Bye-bye then.